Hello, Business 600A students. This is Professor Hassey. Today's date is Saturday, February 18th. And I just want to go over, uh, I posted the grades for assignment number one to your Blackboard. Everybody did excellent. If you uh, made a couple of errors or had anything taken away, I, re I posted my uh, grade or my the file back to you where you can see your mistakes and see, see any comments. If you uh, if you had 100, then I didn't return anything to you because you did a great job. So on the whole, it was a great work by all of you. Uh, please, please make sure what happens sometimes in these early weeks of an online course, somebody sometimes makes a mistake in posting something or they didn't post all the all the work that they did by accident. So uh, one, a couple of you uh, made, had a, um, didn't post all your work for the uh, assignment. So go back through, make sure you posted the right files and resubmit so I can finish your grading. Now that sometimes happens, so don't worry about it. It won't affect your grade. But if you did not uh, post, if you see a, a grade on your work that you didn't, you thought, how did I do that? Uh, it's probably look at my note in your grade center and make sure that you uh, posted all your files and repost if you haven't done that. Then I can get you the correct grade. So in other words, if you go to your grade center, you'll see your grade. If you got less than 100, I repost your file back to you with my adjustments and you can review that. If you have any questions on your grade, feel free to let me know anytime and I'll be happy to answer them. So those that work for assignment number one has now been posted as a solution file in your assignment one file. So you'll see that grade. The, fine, the next thing we're doing this weekend is assignment number two, where you're now doing the more of the accounting cycle, not only journal entries, but also posting it to the general ledger and posting to a trial balance and then doing some fi financial statements. So uh, please uh, feel free to, uh, if you have any questions this weekend, to let me know. That work is due Sunday. If you need an extension, no problem. One last thing I want to show you is uh, how I, what my, was my thinking behind assignment one. So here's the assignment one solutions and the 40% 40, 40 of the assignment was uh, basically definitions about accounting and uh, beginning our work. Uh, uh, Everybody did a great job on this. Uh, I even designed some of the questions to be a little confusing, like who was the founder of accounting, uh, which is not in your textbook, which is great that many of you, all of you got that problem. Uh, but again, it's basically the definitions, uh, two points for each of the 20 problems. So that's a total of 40 points uh, of your, of your uh, assignment. Remember this assignment is 10% of your course grade. So. Just uh, I highlighted in the solutions the correct answers to those. If if I found that you got uh, one of the problems really way off, then I explained it to you in your in my notes. But everybody did a fine job on uh, these multiple choice, which really weren't that easy. You had to do a little thinking on them. And then finally, the uh, the journal entries, and I was just looking for the journal entries. Uh, one thing to note, uh, some of us didn't put them, put our entries into a column format, like the column format here. Many of us used a spreadsheet to do that. In the future, if you please uh, do a column format, of course, in assignment number two, I give you the format in the worksheet, so you don't have to worry about that. But in, it's, it just makes it easier to read, uh, easier to understand, not so much for the grading, but if you're preparing these for a business, uh, you want to make it the users uh, and the readers of this inf accounting information easier to read. So putting it in some type of column format is important. And these were the journal entries uh, just April 30th. So that's all you had to do on this assignment. I just wanted to see for, for all of you uh, to get a feel for the uh, definition of accounting, what accounting is all about, and the general entries of how business business transactions are converted into the accounting language using the left-hand side of the account, debits, and using the right-hand side of the account, credit. And everybody did a great job in that. Again, 60 points for each one, for this section. Uh, basically, it comes out to about uh, three or four points a, jur a journal entry, but everybody did a super job. I found no mistakes in the journal entries. Excellent work. So that's assignment number one. Thank <laughs> you.
here's assignment number two, where you're asked to, again, uh, prepare uh, 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 adjusting entries to a, an ad unadjusted trial balance. In other words, the journal entries have already been done. They've been posted to the general ledger, and uh, you're going to be posting to the general ledger from the unadjusted trial balance. So here's the trial unadjusted trial balance after the general journal entries have been completed. Now you're going to adjust these accounts with these entries A through H, do the adjusting journal entries following, uh, if you need to, the lecture notes of, of this week and also the nice uh, definitions of adjusting entries in your PowerPoint and in our Blackboard. After you do those entries, then you are to adjust to a new adjusted trial balance, make with those additions to your ledger. And then from that, you prepare the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet as of December 31st. And this is all the information you need. Now remember, uh, make sure you have the proper headings on your financial settings. Uh, statements. Just don't list the numbers. Make sure you indicate what type of financial statement it is, what's the name of the company, and for what period of time. That's the key because people are going to be reading these. They want to know what company is this for, what is the statement, and for what period of time. Make sure that is in your title, and I'll show you that in just a second. So that's the format for this assignment too, taken from a problem right out of your textbook, problem 33A. So again, you create T accounts in the worksheet, put the proper balances beginning and from the unadjusted trial balance, record the journal entries for the adjustments, then repost those back to the trial to the T accounts, get your final account balances and prepare an adjusted trial balance from those numbers. And then when, once that's completed and your adjusted trial balance is in balance, then prepare the three financial statements. And here's what that worksheet looks like. Okay, so I have the ledger all set up for you in this worksheet. That's why it saves you a lot of time, and I don't want you to bother with the format and setting all this up. I'll give you the, the worksheets to work by. So you're going to create, take the information from the unadjusted trial balance and post it to these appropriate accounts. Then you prepare the journal entries for the adjusting entries here, A through H, prepare those entries here. Then once those entries are prepared by you, you go back to the ledger and post those to the proper accounts and make the adjustments to the balance of the account. Then once that is done and your ledger is there completed, then you go and create a trial balance. And I've listed all the accounts and all you do is put in those accounts balances. And remember the trial balance has to equal debits equal the credits. If that's the case after you're done, then you take the income statement accounts and prepare the income statement. Notice I have the title and the heading all correctly in order. Prepare the income statement. Prepare the retained earnings statement. Make sure you don't forget the beginning balance at the beginning of the period if there is one for retained earnings. And then you take that retained earnings balance and fit it into the balance sheet of assets, liabilities, and equity. And remember the balance sheet, assets must equal the totals of liabilities and equity. That's what I'm looking for for this assignment this week. You're basically completing most of the accounting cycle. Next week, our last week of the accounting cycle, we're going to be completing the journal, the journal entries to close these books and the final closing process of accounting entries of the accounting cycle. That's what we'll do next week in week four, and then we're off and running to finance for the balance of our coursework. So again, there's what you have for assignment this week. Again, if you need an extension, it's fine. But again, all work is done on the worksheet. If you do not submit the worksheet, I'm gonna send you an email back, probably Sunday night or Monday saying, I need this work on the worksheet provided. Please resubmit. So don't forget that as you complete the work this week. Again, update your ledger with the unadjusted trial balance given to you in the problem. Prepare the adjusting journal entries. Repost those entries back to the ledger. Take the ledger account balances and prepare the trial balance. If the trial balance is equal, debits equal the credits. Prepare your income statement statement of retained earnings, and balance sheet. And after you do this process, 
I'm beginning to tell you, consider you as now official accountants. Great job. All right, that's our work for this week, everybody. Once you're done, you post that back to the Blackboard, your work worksheet. If you have any questions, I'm available this weekend. Have a great weekend, and we have uh, next video will be on Monday, President's Day, to begin the final week of our accounting study on closing entries. Have a great weekend, everybody. Adios.